Hello and welcome to this Adobe Photoshop tutorial where I will be showing you how to save an image for web at specific dimensions. You can either open and navigate to the file from open or file open or from your finder window you can just drag and drop in the image. Let's say we want this first image to be for desktop at 1920 by 1080 pixels. Make sure your layers panel is open or go to window layers and let's go ahead and check our image size by going to image image size and we want this in pixels for web and we want the resolution to be at 72 ppi which is pixels per inch so we want to get this to a width of 1920 let's go ahead and enter that in width and you can see that this image is already at a height of 1080 so let's go ahead and click ok we got lucky on that one and now we're going to go to file export save for web and that shortcut is command option shift s and this is going to give us a save for web dialog box where we can decide what quality we want to save this as and you can specify an exact quality here go ahead and keep optimized checked and we can see over here in the bottom left what the file size will be at this size and quality so if i turn it to maximum it's going to be 1.6 megabytes versus high at 60 quality is going to be less than half. I want to note that for a full image such as this, I do want to save it as a JPEG. If we were saving it as a PNG, the file is going to be much larger. There are instances such as a logo with a transparent background that you would want to save it as a PNG 24 because that will allow you to save with transparency as the background as long as that background has been removed. So for this image, let's change it back to JPEG. If you zoom in, you can tell more easily what that quality difference is. Let's go to low. So you can see it's getting very grainy. Let's go ahead and type in 75 for the quality. And you can see here the image size is 1920 by 1080. You could change that to a different value, even though the canvas size was originally not that size. We could change it to 800 and see the proportionate size. Let's go back to 1920 and we're going to save and specify your file name. I'm going to add 1920 by 1080 so I know what those dimensions are later. And now we want to save this image as 1024 by 768, which is more of a tablet or a medium size. So we could do that by going to image, image size and changing the width again to see. And right here it's giving us less than 768. For this exercise, I want it to be exactly 1024 by 768. So I'm going to change the height here to 768. So I know that I have at least that height to work with and we can go ahead and crop any extra for the width. So we're resampling for the same resolution and click OK. And I want you to notice the units that we're working in. Make sure rulers are turned on by going to View, Rulers or Command R will toggle and right click on the rulers and change this to pixels. So we have some flexibility with cropping the image without losing parts of the image. Let's go ahead and duplicate the background layer by dragging it to the plus sign and right click on that copied layer, convert to smart object. Now we're gonna go to image, canvas size, and we've already got the height that we'd like. And we're gonna type in 1024 on the width and you can choose a different anchor point if you'd like. It's letting us know that it's going to clip this background image, which is okay because we have a copy. And now either using your move tool, V for shortcut, we can move this image or we can scale it or transform it with command T or go to edit free transform. And now we can grab a corner and holding down shift, we can resize and compose the image. Let's go ahead and hit enter to apply the transform. And now we're going to go to file export, save for web, and again, we can adjust the quality and look at our file size if we need to try to achieve a certain file size. We can double check here the image size 1024 by 768 and save. This time I'm going to type in the new dimensions. Another way we can set up a file for web would be to click new file or file new. And this time we could either click on web for some of the common presets, such as this 1024 by 768 or the 1920 by 1080. And it gives us the 72 resolution and RGB color mode. 
So when I just did that, it went ahead and created an artboard. Personally, I'm not a fan of artboards. So to get rid of the artboard, you can right click on artboard and ungroup artboards and start dragging and dropping an image there. Or if I go back to new document, right here is a checkbox for artboards. I'm gonna uncheck that and create. And now we can drag and drop our image and zoom in or out if we need extra room to scale and then do file export, save for web as we did before. I hope this video helps you with saving your images for web.